This will be a short instructional video on the ZIR100 thermal imaging clip-on made by Optics Bulgaria. The ZIR100 clip-on thermal imaging device can be used as part of a weapon-mounted system for observation, target detection or passive target acquisition during day, night in a variety of environmental conditions including fog, rain, snow and even total darkness. The ZIR100 is an outstanding thermal imager with a great number of functions and a perfect optical performance. The advanced design of the ZIR100 thermal clip-on device eliminates the need to remove the day sighting equipment since the ZIR mounts directly in line with the standard day optical sights. No re-zeroing is necessary when the ZIR100 clip-on thermal device is used with the primary day sight as the settings on the primary sight remain unchanged. The point of impact remains the same no matter how often or how many times the clip-on is mounted or dismounted. It is shockproof and able to withstand the recoil of all heavy caliber rifles such as the 338 Lapua and the 50 BMG. The ZAR100 delivery set includes the soft Cordura transport bag with a device inside. And on the device, you will find pre installed the lens objective protective cap, the short focusing shaft, the weapon mount, and the rubber eyepiece. The instructional manual, four 18650 rechargeable Leon batteries the long focusing shaft, the video output cable, a lens cleaning napkin, a lens cleaning tool, and on the side you will find the charger compartment with three cables, one 12 volt when charging from a car, 110 volt, 230 volt, and the charger itself. The key characteristics of the ZIR100 include a 640 by 480 detector resolution with a 17 micron pitch size, a 100 millimeter objective focal length. The device maintains zeroing of the day scope and allows a crisp and clear picture with more than 10 times magnification of the day scope. A video output, a snapshot function, an integrated digital leveler, a remote focus control shaft and a durable housing and the design of the device allows it to withstand recoil from even the toughest calibers up to 50 BMG. The detection of a human figure is more than 2,700 meters. The human recognition is more than 900 meters. The vehicle detection is 6,700 meters and the vehicle recognition is more than 2,200 meters. In the front you will find the protective rubber objective cap, below is the 100mm objective, on the side you have your video port, on the back your collimator with a rubber eyepiece, on this side is the short focusing shaft, below is your weapon mount, your battery compartment, in which to install the batteries we need to unscrew this knob until the lid flips open. Put the batteries in the correct order shown inside, plus and minus. Close the lid and turn the knob until everything is tight and secure. Then with the on off switch, we switch the device on and start using the device with the multifunctional buttons on the top. The ZIR comes with a video port on the side that can be used to connect the device with an external monitor or an external recording device. The supplied cable comes with a connector on one side that you need to correctly align the red dots to connect it and an RCA connector on the other side. The ZIR100 comes supplied with both a short focusing shaft, a long focusing shaft, to be comfortably used with different day scope sizes. To uninstall the short focusing shaft or switch it with the long one, you need to carefully fixate the focusing knob and unscrew this one carefully until the end.
you take the long shaft, look carefully at the pin, you have to align it with the slot, and screw it carefully until it's tight till the end. And now you're ready to mount it on the gun. When mounting the ZAR for the first time on your rifle, on the bottom with your rail mount you have the option to adjust the width depending on the rail that you have on your weapon system. By pressing it and turning the screw you can either tighten or loosen the width of the weapon mount. Be careful when you're releasing it to have the screw aligned with the channels. To correctly mount your device on your rifle, first of all check that it is empty and secure. Then put the device in the correct position of your rail, close the levers, and somewhere from the middle you will need to apply some pressure in order to fix the device correctly to your rail. Afterwards, you take the rubber fixation ring, put it wherever it is comfortable on your day scope, and now your system is ready to be used. Before starting to shoot, make sure that your day scope is zeroed and correctly fixed to the rail. The same applies to the ZIR100. Remove the protective rubber cap, switch the device on, flip the day scope, and using the focusing shaft, make sure that you have a clear image. And now you're ready to shoot. The main operations are performed through the buttons on the top side of the device, and the integrated functions exceed the number of the three control buttons. Some features are triggered by a combination of buttons or temporarily pressing and holding the buttons for a specified duration. Digital zoom. Press the Z button to activate two times digital zoom. Press it a second time to activate four times digital zoom. The current digital zoom is shown at the top right corner of the screen. Please note that the digital zoom reduces the quality of the image. Digital zoom is applicable only when this function is enabled from the menu. If digital zoom is not enabled, when short pressing the Z button, the following info box appears. Pressing and holding the Z button for more than 2 seconds takes a snapshot. Nook Non-Uniformity Correction Each element of the detector array is susceptible to generate a signal different from the signals of other elements under the same conditions of observation. This non-uniformity leads to the appearance of a geometric noise in the picture. This effect is especially evident in uncooled systems. Therefore, it is necessary to perform a non-uniformity correction periodically during operation of the device. The NUC algorithm is activated manually or automatically through specified intervals by pressing the end button. Pressing and holding the button for more than 2 seconds deactivates the auto NUC function as the icon automatic NUC disappears. In that case, the NUC will be carried out manually only when pressing N. By pressing the end button again and holding it for more than 2 seconds, activates the auto NUC function and an icon appears on the upper left corner of the screen. Luminance Polarity The device has four fixed values of the display luminance. With prolonged use of the device in low lighting conditions, the lower luminance levels are recommended. This results in optimal energy consumption and greater observation comfort. Press and hold the button for more than two seconds to invert the image. For example, warm objects appear in dark tones, cold and white, and vice versa. Menu Navigation The buttons Z, N and Luminance are dual purpose buttons. Besides the main and secondary functions, they serve also for entering and navigation through the menu. To activate the menu, press the Z and N buttons simultaneously, then use the Z and N buttons to move the cursor and the Luminance button to select the function. To quickly exit the menu, press and hold the luminance button for more than 2 seconds. If the menu is left idle for 20 seconds, the menu will close automatically. Image Brightness Selecting brightness allows setting your own user-defined level of image brightness. Contrast 
Selecting contrast allows setting your own user-defined level of image contrast. Scene. The scene menu allows regulation of the image contrast according to the observed scene. Highlight option. Boost the signal input for optimal detection and recognition of high contrast objects. Panorama option. Regulates the signal input for optimal details when observing landscapes with variable objects. Weather type. Image quality is strongly dependent on weather conditions. When the weather is wet, for example, fog, rain, or other, the dynamic range of the scene is reduced, causing low contrast performance of the device. There are special image filters that enhance the details in low contrast image by wet weather conditions. You may choose between three filters, hot, normal, or wet. For good weather conditions, select the normal filter, otherwise the image will be noisy. Filters. This type of filters affect the edges of the object. You may choose between three filters, smooth, normal, and sharp. The smooth filter is suitable for reducing image noise. Objects have slightly blurred contours. The normal image filter is your standard mode of observation. The sharp image filter gives objects sharper contours for maximum detail performance at long distances. Palettes. Choosing black hot, warmer objects appear in black, and white hot, warmer objects appear in white, is up to users' personal preferences. Red hot is a recommended mode for prolonged observation. The image is red black to minimize the blue light emitting by the display and is more comfortable on the eyes. Isotherm palette. The objects above the threshold temperature are colored in different shades of red. The temperature threshold can be set, increased or decreased by the temperature scale shown. Increasing the threshold value ignores the colorization of colder objects. This option is highly dependent from the distance to the object. It is highly recommended to try different values of the threshold in daily usage to find the right value for your personal preference. Quick Image Menu By pressing Z and the luminance button simultaneously, a quick image menu appears. It is a shortcut for setting desired values of the main image parameters, brightness, contrast, and scene. Features menu. Standby. When the standby function is enabled, the device will be switched to power saving mode every time when the tilt angle is more than 45 degrees to both sides or more than 60 degrees upwards and downwards. As soon as these conditions are fulfilled, the device will automatically switch to standby mode in up to 20 seconds in the current position. When the device position is changed, it would automatically switch back on again. Auto BPR, bad pixel repair function. This device has an automatic algorithm for clearing defective pixels on the screen. Attention, small objects on screen on farther distance might be observed as 1-2 pixels and considered as defective pixels by the algorithm. When observing objects a long distance, please turn off the auto BPR function. Leveler The leveler feature shows on-screen information about the horizontal displacement of the optical system. Off-on switches off or on the electronic leveler. Calibrate. Calibrating of the leveler is automatic. Simply enter the function and wait for 5 seconds for the calibration to end. The weapon should be in a horizontal leveled position. To be assured of the position, please use a standard leveler. Position. Since in different magnification of the day scope, the image is cropped, choose the exact position where the leveler data is positioned on the screen. You can adjust by plus minus 30 pixels expansion and shrink from the center of the screen. Config. Configure the level of data shown on screen. Available options are degrees, arrow markers, degrees and arrow markers. Zoom. When digital zoom is enabled, the user can access it by short pressing the Z button. 
do not use digital zoom while shooting. Snapshot. The snapshot function is performed by pressing and holding the Z button. Snapshots are stored in the internal memory of the device. Up to 20 images can be stored. View. Shows the stored snapshots and allows browsing through them with the Z and N button. To exit, press the luminance button. Delete all. Deletes all images from the device memory. Settings menu. Nook type. The thermal imaging devices are prone to generate noise in the image, columns or dots. Therefore, periodic calibration of the sensor is a mandatory process. The non-uniformity correction NUC of the signal is a complex electronic process, which requires a uniform temperature body in front of the detector or the objective lens. For the convenience of the user, the device has a built-in motorized mechanism performing NUC procedures by automatically dropping a miniature shutter plate in front of the detector. This process takes less than a second is an accompanied by an acoustic noise resembling a click. Selecting the nuke type changes the nuke mode between internal and external. In situations requiring maximum suppression of the acoustic noise, the device can operate in external shutter mode, which isolates the operation of the motorized mechanism. When the external shutter mode is activated, the motorized mechanism of the shutter is blocked. Auto nuke function is deactivated. In that case, the calibration should be performed by the user who must cover the objective lens before pressing N. In order to cover the objective lens, use the hand or the protective cap. Otherwise, the image of the display will resemble the negative effect of the observed scene. Upon power on, the device automatically performs two consecutive NUC cycles. During this period of time, it is desirable to cover the objective lens with the protective cap or with the hand. These actions are necessary only when the external shutter mode is activated. Alignment With the alignment function, you can precisely align the optical axis of the day sight and the clip-on attachment. The manufacturing process of the device ensures the shooting precision tolerances up to 5 cm at 100 m. By this alignment function, you can achieve much better accuracy. Entering the alignment function shows impact point text on the screen and X and Y values showing the current position of the image. If the impact point while using the clip-on attachment is different from the point of impact of the day scope, additional fine alignment should be done. The action is performed with the Z and the N buttons. Decreasing the value of the X shifts the impact point to the left and increasing it to the right. Decreasing the value of Y shifts the impact point down and increasing it moves upward. Switching between directions is performed by short pressing the luminance button. Example: If the point of impact is right below the impact point of the day scope, the image should be moved upwards and left, increasing Y value and decreasing X value. The adjustment is limited to 9 steps in each direction. Each step corresponds to approximately 1.7 cm at 100 m. If the need for alignment exceeds the limit of 9 steps, Please contact your vendor. OT Operational Time The OT menu shows the total working time in hours. Language Available languages English, German, Hungarian, Czech, and Russian. 